Hey my friends, harvest season is here. And whether you are looking for recipes to use up all those veggies coming out of your garden or just looking for ways to eat a little bit lighter, a little bit healthier going into fall, these five recipes are for you. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Cassie and I am the author of the blog and YouTube channel, homemakingwithoutfear.com and Homemaking Without Fear. Welcome. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn on the little bell notification so I can let you know when new videos post. I am a homemaker. I love to make my home beautiful. I love to make it warm, cozy, inviting, long for thrifty home decor ideas, lots of DIY home projects, ideas to live a little more naturally and healthfully, and lots of delicious home cooked recipes, including the ones I'm sharing with you today. Check the video description. I will make sure to share links for these recipes. Many of them are from my blog. I hope you enjoy. First up, venison burgers with lettuce buns. This is a really easy swap to make and you really don't miss the carbohydrate in this recipe. Honestly, it really isn't even a recipe. I thought out some really good venison burger or turkey burger, formed them into patties, crisp them up on my griddle, season them, to your taste and then add all the delicious toppings that you like. This is just a really easy and satisfying low carb veggie swap. Okay, my mouth is watering. I need a lettuce burger. All right, healthy recipe number two is a cauliflower mac and cheese. You can get my homemade mac and cheese recipe at homemakingwithoutfear.com. Check the video description and I'll share the link for you. But I just go ahead and swap a steamed cauliflower for pasta or the noodle in this recipe. It is so satisfying and so easy and this sauce is delicious. It is good on anything. Here I'm making the rest of my family a whole wheat mac and cheese with penne pasta which is certainly a healthy version of mac and cheese, but this cauliflower version is just as good and even better for you. Pack with veggies, so good. Recipe number three is coming at ya, homemade spaghetti sauce. I'm going to save some of this sauce for pizza. Whenever I make homemade spaghetti sauce, I always portion some out in a jar, either save it in the refrigerator or freeze it to make pizza later that night or the following week. My homemade spaghetti sauce is a recipe on my blog and I'd love for you to try it. I am going to switch things up and add a vegetable by making some zoodles. I got this zucchini noodle maker. It makes all kinds of different shapes of noodles on Amazon and I'll link that for you. Man, was I surprised when I first made these. I like to just lightly steam the zucchini noodles so they don't get soft and fall apart. The resulting spaghetti with zoodles is absolutely wonderful. I cannot recommend it enough. 
Recipe number four is inspired by Panera Bread and their warm grain bowls. Now, these warm grain bowls are really healthy anyway. I like to make them even healthier by substituting the grain with the cauliflower rice. simply grate up fresh cauliflower, pop it in a container, and when I'm ready to make my warm cauliflower rice bowl, I toast the cauliflower rice for just a few minutes and add all kinds of yummy toppings, roasted chicken, cucumbers, tomatoes, olives, a scoop of hummus, sour cream, top it off with cilantro. a little Caesar dressing or a creamy Italian. This is an absolute favorite of mine right now. The last recipe I'm gonna share with you is a pizza. Now we make pizza at least once a week, usually on Fridays, and here I am mixing up my good old go-to no need sourdough bread. It is so easy and you can find this recipe at homemakingwithoutfear.com. Follow the link in the video description. If you don't have a sourdough starter, you can definitely make this, substituting a little bit of yeast, water, and flour in place of the starter. But I'm telling you, it is so, so good and so easy. <laughs> now for me, I'm gonna make a cauliflower crust. I have worked on this recipe for quite some time, and I really love cauliflower crust or bread swap recipes, but I couldn't find one that would hold up, that was nice and crisp. I have found that mixing up my cauliflower batter and using my mini waffle maker makes the perfect pizza crust or slice of bread swap. If you want to make a sandwich out of this, you certainly can. So I take my pizza sauce that I made earlier in the week and saved a little bit. This helps pizza night come together really quickly. Here's my cauliflower pizza crust with all the delicious, healthy toppings. All the delicious pizza, none of the guilt. Well, there you go, five vegetable dinners, all the delicious flavors, no guilt. Use up those veggies coming out of the garden, eat a little bit healthier, enjoy your food, enjoy fellowship with your family or your friends. Thank you for watching. Make sure to share my channel with someone else and go to homemakingwithoutfear.com to find all the recipes. Until next time, happy harvest and happy eating. Bye.